Hello, my name is Shannon Butler, and I am the Instructional Specialist for Mathematics with the York County School Division. I'm here to talk to you about the changes to the Middle School Mathematics program for next school year. In the fall of this year, the Virginia Department of Education released um, a revised mathematics standards for all K-12 math in the state of Virginia. Part of these revised standards um, included curriculum changes and course changes. The revised standards are due to be approved by the Board of Education on July 1st of this year, and the new curriculum will then be impacted with the next school year, 2009-2010. As part of the changes to all of the mathematics courses, the Virginia Department of Education has emphasized a particular change in changing middle school math from arithmetic and whole numbers that kids see a lot of in elementary school to more of a foundation of algebra. In doing so, this will help to better prepare students for the courses that they're going to take in high school. In the new standards, one of the biggest changes is that there will no longer be a pre-algebra course. The pre-algebra skills that students need to succeed in Algebra 1 will be taught over a two-year period. The first part of those skills will be taught in a course called Foundations of Algebra Part 1. The second part of those skills will be taught in a course called Foundations of Algebra Part 2. At the end of seventh grade, any student who has successfully completed Foundations of Algebra Part 1 and Foundations of Algebra Part 2 should be prepared to study Algebra 1 in the eighth grade. Now, these changes will not directly impact our current sixth and seventh grade students right away. Current sixth and seventh grade students will not be impacted by the new courses for next year. The mathematics course path for these students will remain the same. There will, however, be changes to the math curriculum in those courses. As you can see, these are the current course paths for our current 6th and 7th grade students. Students have a three different paths to follow. In 6th grade, students either take Math 6, Math 7, or Pre-Algebra currently. And you can see the, path, the first path, the students who take Math 6, go to Math 7, and then to Pre-Algebra. In the second path, the students who took Math 7 as a 6th grader then took Pre-Algebra in 7th grade and Algebra 1 in 8th grade. And our most advanced students took Pre-Algebra as 6th graders, Algebra 1 as, as 7th graders, and Advanced Geometry as 8th graders. Those courses are not going to change for next year for currently enrolled students in the 6th and 7th grade. Now for incoming 6th graders to middle school next year, um, entering in 2009-2010, those most of those students will take Foundations of Algebra Part 1. If, success, if successful in this course, they will then take Foundations of Algebra Part 2 in the 7th grade, and then could be prepared to take Algebra 1 in grade 8. Now, some incoming 6th graders who have met division requirements um, of which used to be pre-algebra which include an A average in Math 5, a pass advanced score on the 4th grade Math SOL, a math score in the 89th percentile or above in the total mathematics on the recent Stanford 10, and a 5th grade teacher recommendation, can take a course called Foundations of Algebra. Now this Foundations of Algebra course will combine both parts 1 and 2 and prepare those students to take Algebra 1 in the 7th grade. Therefore, there will now be two paths for the incoming 6th graders. The first path has students taking Foundations of Algebra Part 1 in the 6th grade. Then after completion, taking Foundations of Algebra Part 2 in the 7th grade. Students who are successful in that then should be ready to take Algebra 1 in 8th grade, so that is one option for them. Students who still need additional um, pre-algebra skills and it would require more time to, to master those skills, we'll take what we call Foundations of Algebra Part 3 to better prepare them for Algebra 1 in the ninth grade. The second path, which will be for just a small number of our students, will be for students to take Foundations of Algebra in the sixth grade, which again is a combination of the Part 1 and Part 2 course, Algebra 1 in the seventh grade, and Advanced Geometry in the eighth grade. So actually there are two paths, but it's really three different routes students can complete by the end of eighth grade. And those routes are not changing. Um, still, we will have students then taking Algebra 1 in ninth grade, or Advanced Geometry in ninth grade, or Algebra 2 Trig in the ninth grade. 
That is the end of our changes to middle school mathematics, and I hope that this makes everything a little bit more clear. We enjoy working with your students and hope you continue to succeed in mathematics at the middle school level.